Hey everyone, what's going on? So this weekend on the AFC Championship game, at the same time that it is going on, we're getting this Blood Moon, which is also called the Super Wolf Blood Moon. And it's interesting because this, this the moon turns red and the game is going to be played in Arrowhead Stadium where the Kansas City Chiefs play. And the Kansas City is all about the color red. They even call the stadium the Sea of Red as well. Arrowhead Stadium, but they call it the Sea of Red. And if you've been following what I've been talking about for a long time, pretty much all season, I've been talking a lot about the Kansas City Chiefs and the Los Angeles Rams. And the reason it's important is because the Chiefs play in the Sea of Red. And Moses, in you know biblical history or whatever, Moses parted the Red Sea. And a big narrative with what is going on with the kneeling during the National Anthem, it stems back to the 49ers who play in Levi's Stadium. And Moses just so happened to be in the tribe of Levi. But Moses, in the Zodiac, he brought in the age of Aries, which is the ram. That's why he got mad at the people worshiping the golden calf, because that was the age of Taurus. And he was bringing in the age of Aries, and Aries was the ram. And, you know, it might sound crazy if you're new to this channel, but... I've documented so many times where these things go on. Our, our sports leagues are scripted by the system. It's an, a, there's a system of you know, ancient knowledge that people who control our sports leagues understand. They control our mainstream media. They control our told history. And they understand this knowledge such as you know, astrology and hermeticism and Kabbalah, which within Kabbalah, there's the practice of coding numbers into words and phrases that's called gematria. And it's interesting that arrowhead and gematria equals 51, just like the word moon. Also, it's interesting that the Kansas City Chiefs mascot just so happens to be the wolf. KC Wolf. It's not an Indian guy anymore. It's a, it's a wolf. KC Wolf. And now we're getting the, you know, the Red Wolf Moon on the same night they're playing the New England Patriots. It's interesting too, I just made this big long video about the, the meeting between Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un being announced 220 days after their first meeting because in Gematria, Donald John Trump equals 220 and I talked about how it was synced up to the moon. Even the last time we had a blood moon happened on the anniversary of the Korean War coming to an end. But notice that Donald Trump's birthday to the beginning of this moon is 220 days. His name equals 220. I also talked about how it was synced up to the wall. He addressed the nation on January 8th, which is Kim Jong-un's birthday. And in Gematria, if you write out Mexican border, it equals 220. And back in February last year, February 25th, we got a story about Donald Trump. Uh, the Mexican president didn't want to visit the White House anymore because of a, a phone call that he had with Donald Trump on the date of 220. And it was 220 days after the Mexican president's birthday that we got the story. And his, his birthday just so happened to be 720, which is the anniversary of the landing on the moon in 1969. And another reason that's so interesting is because if you go from Donald Trump's birthday to the Super Bowl this year, it's seven months and 20 days, right? Like the anniversary of the moon landing. So we're getting this, this game on the same night as this blood moon that's 220 days after Trump's birthday that syncs up to him. And then seven months and 20 days before the Super Bowl is his birthday, like the day of the moon landing. And if you go back and listen to what I was talking about, Harry S. Truman was really important. Donald Trump, 
He won the election, we were told, on November 9th of 2016, which just so happens to be the anniversary of the announcement that the Berlin Wall was going to come down. And in Gematria, if you write out the word wall, it equals 48. And if you write out Donald Trump, it equals 48. And that's why, you know, him and LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers visited the White House on the same day. Then LeBron James is in that game show called The Wall. And they came out with the movie called The Great Wall on the 48th day of the year, just after Trump won the election. Just think about it, you know. Think about how they have already, they, they had to have planned that. There's no way. They were working on these movies way before Donald Trump won the election and they just absolutely, they bring them out after Donald Trump wins the election. But this number 48 was really important. It was also the biggest election upset since the year 1948 when Harry S. Truman upset Thomas E. Dewey. And Notice Harry S. Truman equals the same as Donald Trump, 148, 176. Donald J. Trump, just like Harry S. Truman, 148, 176. And the reason that this is important is because Harry S. Truman, he died at the age of 88. Trump equals 88. But he died in Kansas City, Missouri, where the Kansas City Chiefs play. You know? What are the odds? He dies where the Kansas City Chiefs play. Harry S. Truman equals 148 as well. Just like Donald J. Trump. Just like Kansas City. And the Chiefs were established on the date of 14-8 by Lamar Hunt. Which is interesting because Truman was born in Lamar, Missouri. So, just wanted to make a short video. Just thought it was interesting. The Chiefs are playing on this night with this red moon, wolf moon, their mascot's the wolf. A ton of stuff that I've been talking about in regards to this. And one last thing that's interesting about the Super Bowl that's coming up is it's on the 34th day of the year. And way back when, when I was talking about all of this, it was synced up to the number 34. And I'm sorry, I just, I'm, I'm laughing in my head right now because I didn't even realize that I had talked about Dwight D. Eisenhower being the 34th president, but he's also the president that was the president when the Korean War came to an end in 1953. So, but he was the 34th president. He was the first president to begin his presidency on January 20th instead of 3 4 when all the other presidents began. He actually began his. I know that uh, uh, FDR, he he should have. He began a term, you know, but he didn't begin his presidency on 3-4. And then since he died in office, Truman didn't begin on 3-4. So the 34th president was the first president to not begin his term on 3-4. And a lot of this was connected to the Civil War. That's all about the number 43, the reflection of 34. Lincoln born on the 43rd day of the year. That's why the Nebraska Cornhuskers are really important. That's why in the movie Teen Wolf they have Nebraska Cornhusker stuff in the background for no reason other than this coding because the movie's not set. It's not filmed in Nebraska. It makes no sense to have Nebraska Cornhusker stuff in the background. But, you know, the mascot in the movie is the beaver. And just after. We had the Teen Wolves do well in the 2015 All-Star Week in the NBA that was held over the Festival of Lubricalia that celebrates the sacrifices of wolf. We had the Nebraska Cornhuskers hire Mike Riley, who was the a former coach of Oregon State Beavers, right? But anyway, all synced up to this, the Civil War, Lincoln, Lincoln, Nebraska. Moses freed the slaves, Lincoln freed the slaves, but... Kansas became the 34th state and they were they became the 34th state I can't remember what it is here they became the 34th state I think it was 34 days before Abraham Lincoln became the president on 3-4 but anyway well let's just move on let's look at all these other 34s that have to do with Moses Exodus equals 34 the word Hebrew equals 34 the word serpent 
Red Sea equals 34. Canaan equals 34. Think about the walls of Jericho, too. Moses led them to Canaan, and then the first city that they took back was Jericho. And they knocked down the walls, and they did it all by the numbers. Sinai equals 34. Which, by the way, supposedly Mount Sinai actually stands for the mountain of the moon god, according to Jordan Maxwell. So, I don't know for sure. You know, there, there's more to research there, but supposedly Mount Sinai is actually the mountain of the moon god. Think about that with this moon, right? The moon god. Sinai equals 34. Passover equals 34. Aries equals 34. Aries is the ram, you know? And then lawgivers, 43, the reflection. Civil War equals 43. Abe Lincoln born on the 43rd day of the year. You know, it began in Charleston. That equals 43. He died four years and four years and three days after the Civil War began. I mean, tons and tons of stuff with 43, 34 around Abe Lincoln and Moses, who both freed the slaves, supposedly. So, I'm just interested to see how it all plays out. I want to. I'm interested to see if who who's going to be in the Super Bowl. If the Rams and the Chiefs, or just the Rams, make the Super Bowl, not so much worried about the Chiefs. The Chiefs might just be showing me the Rams for some weird reason. But if the Rams do make the Super Bowl, I expect that what I was talking about in 2015 is going to play out. There's definitely a major earthquake that is going to happen this year if the Rams go on to the Super Bowl. I, I just have no doubt in my mind. It, everything that I was talking about in 2015 will be absolutely synced up to the Super Bowl if the Rams make the Super Bowl this year. And a major thing I was talking about was earthquakes. So Tom Brady does have a bunch of connections to the Wolf stuff, too. So, you know, I don't know for sure. But... I've been following this narrative with the Rams and the Chiefs for, since November at least. You know, maybe not all season, but since November, this narrative has been, has popped back up. So, definitely interested to see how it plays out. So, whatever, just wanted to make a short video. Have a good one. Peace.